Composition is essential to good painting. Understanding how to break up a beautiful view. Now, in this case, I've chosen a relatively complicated subject. It happens to be a vintage street in California. And it has some wonderful old buildings. The shapes are just interesting and uh, varied. There, are, of course, are umbrellas because this scene is a modern day picture. But the view is essentially goes back more than 100 years. And what we want to do is to break this down into geometric shapes. So I've started <clears throat> with a horizon line. And the horizon line is not exactly at the exact level where the base of the building is. And we're doing a one point perspective. So the street line is here. The horizon line is here. The top of the bo uh, buildings would be in this location. And I've already indicated those lines. Now we're going to say the background will have another geometric shape. And I'm going to angle the crest of a very interesting old um, view, and it's of Mount Burdell. So that's going to give you a clue. This is Northern California, and yes, it is the old town of Nevado. Now, the first building to consider would be the vintage building of the blacksmith shop. And it has a frontage that is truly a rectangle. However, because of the angle and the fact that we're doing it in one point perspective, it takes this angle towards the vanishing point. This kind of is the starting point. To draw in perspective, we consider the closest vertical lines. We're going to draw a grid, and these will be very angular and very geometric. The next building to consider is a vintage building built around 1916. And again, I'm starting with the closest vertical signs and the roof line, which is old adobe in structure and wonderful tile roofs. The shape itself is a rectangle, but on an angle, so it becomes um, very distract, very disturbed, distracted, and abstract. The top of the building has a horizontal line that goes this way, again, emphasizing the grid and the vertical line back here. Quite a large cube in space. The windows you just draw as little rectangles, and it's done. To emphasize the verticals, we go down the street with an old, old wooden fence. No longer there, but it was very distressed and interesting pe uh, paled, um, paint that was peeled off, just like that. Now the backyard had wonderful trees, vineyards, and apple trees. So I'm just going to show an angular shape representing an apple tree here and an apple tree there. All right, now we have broken down the first part of the picture and going down towards the vanishing point again, we have vertical shapes, each one representing a building. Now it's very difficult to do all of the buildings. One has to choose. This particular building had a facade with a high vertical roof and I'm going to indicate the tile roof this way and the horizontal 
and vertical lines emphasizing the grid again. So now the second little building comes into view. And along the way, there is an oval representing an entry into the back yard and more horizontals and more verticals and overhanging areas like this. And they are repeated. So repetition is another element of art. Repetition and balance, these are important aspects of drawing a good composition. Variety and contrast, and yet some similarity. So there's unity. These are all very specific words that each one means uh, an important part of compositional planning. We start with the large rectangles and squares and triangles moving to the smaller middle size and then to the very much smaller ones. Now in the background, there probably will be another hill of this nature to emphasize the first, first hill, the second hill, and then some patterns of trees back in here that will pick up the shape over here. Again, that is repetition, which is important, contrast, repetition, and variety, and yet then coming back to unity. Sometimes color can unify an overall picture. And so you have to choose what will be the color patterns. Now this completes the initial stage of the buildings, and I want to consider this foreground. Now, looking through files of pictures, I was able to find an old-fashioned car. And I believe this would be a beautiful little element to include in this picture. So in the foreground, there will be an old-fashioned car. <laughs> 